Hi, this is Joni from SimpleLivingMama.com and today I am excited to share with you my kindergartner's individual curriculum. So I have had some definite trial and error with figuring out what is going to work best for my five, almost six year old child. Um, if you have been around my channel for any length of time, then you will know that I did purchase the Good and the Beautiful's Level K, and I thought since my kindergartner had a pretty, pretty good grasp of the letters and the letter sounds, that we would just be able to start Level K. What I found was that was not right at all. That was, he really was not ready to start on Level K. I would even say that Level K would be a good first grade language arts program. Um, unless you just happen to start school way earlier than we do. I personally don't choose to start really formal lessons until about age five to six. Um, before that, it's just play and, you know, I'm not saying they have to learn their ABCs or anything. Um, I do have a video showing what I use for my preschoolers. If you're interested in that, I will pop a card up so you can go check that out. But today we're talking about my kindergartner. So what did I do when I found out that we would not be able to start with level K immediately? The first thing I did was I fell back on an old trusted source and that is teach your child to read in 100 easy lessons. Okay, so I got this book when my oldest child was only four years old. I tried using that book with him and it didn't really go well. For one thing, he really was too young. Um, for another thing, he just he couldn't sit still and, and do the lessons with me. So I put that book away and we ended up just using My Father's World Kindergarten. I did not pick that book back up for him. Um, when my daughter started kindergarten, I started Teach Your Child to Read in 100 Easy Lessons. She was five, almost six when we started it, and it worked beautifully for her. Um, I don't know if that's why she's such an excellent reader now or not. I do know that it it just worked really well for her. Um, I used that along with Explode the Code for her and it worked really well. So I thought, okay, my son's not ready for level K yet, so I'm going to try teach your child to read in 100 easy lessons. And we did probably the first four to five lessons and it got to where he was kicking and screaming and not wanting to do it. And when my child is acting like that and I would try to, if you're familiar with teach your child to read in 100 easy lessons, you say the letter sound and then they say the sound back to you. Um, you play a game called say it fast where you say a word like pop corn and then they're supposed to say it fast popcorn and he was just like yelling the words, being very much a boy, <laughs> bouncing around off the walls. I don't know if maybe this program just works better for and at least in my family, it works better for the girls and the boys, but he, it was just something he didn't want to sit and do. He didn't want to do any of the sound writing. He didn't want to do anything. So I, um, I stalked the Good and the Beautiful Facebook community, and a lot of people said, if you're going to be doing level K, you need to do the level K primer first. So enter level K primer. That's what I decided to go ahead and try with him. Since my other options were not working, um, I purchased the PDF. The PDF is only $15. So I thought, you know what? I don't have anything to lose. Um, I mentioned in another video that I do own a laser printer. Um, we spent a few hundred dollars up front and I pay about $90 for color toner and it lasts for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pages. Now I am running low on toner, which is why I have not printed this entire course book yet. I need to get some, um, some new toner, but Usually it prints beautifully and um, it's just, it's been a lifesaver for me because I do print a lot of our curriculum. Um, so anyway, he's got his little clothespin here in the front because there are some games where you use a clothespin. This has just been great for him because it includes games and uh, different things that he likes to do. And we have done four lessons so far, so we're not too far into it, but it's, it has been going well. So glad, be so glad about that. And I think also this will, here's one that he had a lot of fun with. He got to, underneath the, the cotton balls, he had to name vowels and stuff, and then he got to glue the cotton balls on like clouds. So we had a lot of fun with that. Um, 
I think that if you're going to be using the Good and the Beautiful language arts for the long haul, this kind of gets them used to that, that good and beautiful style. So here's what we're gonna be doing tomorrow. So that is what he is doing for his language arts right now. That's all I've got him doing besides um, some singing the ABC song, ABC song with us, as well as I use ABC picture word cards. And I do those activities with um, my two-year-old all the way up to my five, almost six-year-old. So that is what he's doing. On another note, I'm going to talk a little bit about the Good and the Beautiful's um, level K or level one handwriting, which I got when I purchased um, the level K course book and stuff. So what I found, I thought, okay, I'll be able to just start him on this. What I have found is these boxes, if you can see them, are way too small for him. Um, I'm not sure when he's going to be able to do this. I'm hoping if you've noticed in the primer, the Level K primer, even though it's not a handwriting course, there is a little bit of handwriting practice. If you notice that, they're, they're huge. And this is perfect for his um, fine motor skills right now. He cannot do this yet. He's not near this. And maybe, I'm hoping once we finish um, the primer that he will be able to do this. If not, I may have to either um, make some printables. I, I do know how to make handwriting printables if I want to that have some bigger spaces or um, a reason for handwriting level K I know has the bigger spaces. So we may have to default to that if he's still not ready for it. Okay, so right now all we're doing for language arts it is level K primer, and once we're done with that, I think there's only 30 lessons in here. We will move into language arts level K, and then reevaluate where we are with the handwriting. For his math, this is where I just I kept going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So I know that Good and the Beautiful just recently released their level K math book. Um, I actually purchased our math before that came out, and I purchased. Simply Charlotte Mason's Elementary Arithmetic Series. Um, all right, now all they have out is book one as well. Um, but I had heard a lot of really good things about this curriculum, and I wanted to give it a try. It was completely different from anything, any other approach that I have taken um, with math with my kids. So that's why I wanted to try it. Um, my son, my almost six year old now. Of course, this book is probably a, a grade one book. If you follow the Charlotte Mason method, then they, you don't start school until six. Um, no formal lessons until six. He is almost six, so we are going very slow with this. Um, there's no worksheets at all. All he has is his math notebook. And right now, all he is doing is writing one letter Per lesson so each lesson and we've only done the first three lessons so far so like I said we're going really slow each lesson introduces a number so the concepts that are learned in this book counting 1 through 100 investigation and analysis of 1 through 100 numeral 0 through 9 symbols plus minus and equals place value through 100 numeration and notation through 100 money through one dollar addition through double digits Subtraction through double digits, skip counting, review and oral work, oral work, and mental math. So right now, all we're doing is introducing numbers. And it's, it's very organic, and it's working really well for him because it, he's not into writing, answering a bunch, of, a bunch of problems and writing down the answers. A lot of this is done orally, so it is working very nicely for him. And it's just simple stuff. We use manipulatives. I We like to use buttons. He loves to use buttons when they're spilling everywhere. But I just bought like a pack of buttons off of Amazon for seven bucks. And we use those. We use dried beans. He loves to do that too. Real money, like real coins. Super simple stuff. And all I do is I read what's in the book. And I'll give you an example really quickly in case you're wondering because I know that I was. So what we do is 
Um, we, the first lesson is about number one, so I would ask him to point out one of something in the room, such as one pencil or one door. And then we use um, a dry erase, a mini dry erase board. I write the number one on there, and I know that whenever he sees this stroke, that it stands for something. It stands for one of something. You use some number cards. I just made my own. I got some index cards, and I just wrote numbers on them. You spread them out. I think there you have three sets of each number, one through nine. Have the child pick out all three cards that represent number one. They do get to um, write number one on the dry erase board or chalkboard or whatever you have. And then one time they write the number one in their math notebook. And it tells you in the book exactly where to have them write it and everything. So, um, and we do also start working on some addition. Like when we got to the number two, we started working on addition. We had dried beans and we would say, um, if I have one bean and you have one bean, how many beans do we have together? If you have two beans and I take one away, how many beans do you have now? Just all of that is done very orally and it's going really well. And I asked him, I showed him some samples of the good and the beautiful. He liked it, of course, I mean, it's beautiful, obviously. He liked it and I said, okay, well, if I get this book, then I'm going to have to sell this book so I can pay for it. And he said, no, I don't want you to get rid of that book. So I said, okay, well, then this is what we're gonna do for your math, if that's what you wanna do. So that's what we're doing right now. Um, I will report back once we've gone through this book with a full review. The one thing that this book does not teach, you will not do your calendar time, your months of the year, your days of the week with this book. This need, that needs to be done separately. Um, also, time is not introduced in this book. So if you wanna teach time, that can be done separately. I have a video about um, our morning board where I did that with my other kids. I have not made another morning board since we moved. Um, so right now we're doing all of that stuff orally. Um, I may make a new uh, morning board for my younger kiddos pretty soon so that way we can have some visuals to practice those things. But you know, he's learning his days of the week and months of the year just orally, just by us talking about them during our morning basket time. Okay, he has also, he sees his brothers and his brother and sister creating stories. So he's already been doing that a lot. And I also posted on my Instagram where he had our nature anatomy book and he was um, drawing from that from that he is my child that loves insects and he loves everything about nature I've got him this outdoor book from us born I've got him tons of bug books and we are doing the good and the beautiful's arthropods unit this spring and I know he's going to love that book or love that curriculum and he's gonna love all the things that we get to do with that but um, that's pretty much what he's been doing. He just, he loves bugs. So he has been learning everything he can and catching all sorts of bugs and showing them off to me. So that's what he's doing. Um, I will leave links down below so you can see what we are doing as a group as well as what my other kids are doing individually. And every month I will be posting a morning basket so you can see what we are doing for our morning time too, if you are interested. So go ahead and give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and we will talk to you later. Bye.